Don't marry a career lady and force her to stay at home. You fail and bros. Women deserve to be successful and achieve their dreams too. If you don't want your wife to work or do business, simply marry the one that does not want to do anything. You will have a great life together. This is coming from um, an mm. actor, a politician, mm -hmm. soon to become a pastor. You Motivational speaker, <laughs> Twitter influencer. Man, I don't know anymore. Um, oh, yeah. Spot on, I mm -hmm. would say. Very spot on. I rarely ever agree with what this man has to say but this one for me does it it's very simple and straightforward your values have to align for whatever relationship it is that you're actually doing it could be friends roommates lovers couples um in this case husband and wife so of course you have to have that aligned um I, and i hope that nigerian men can take that into consideration as well i sincerely hope they do because this is something that happens almost all the time yeah they come to a work environment and see they do working growing her career doing her job say oh i want to marry you and they do the whole lovey dovey dovey and it ends the marriage and the next thing you hear is you have to stay home take care of the house mm. have to go and take care the children yeah da, da, da. there are things or even when the lady comes up with solutions more like getting a nanny getting mm. a cook doing things and i mean she's working she should be able to also help out in in sourcing those bills but no my wife cannot work but you you saw her working yeah. so I, I think like you rightly said values has to align yeah. and if you want someone who is willing to be a housewife which requires a lot of work as well yeah. just not to downplay yeah, that course. it takes a lot of work to be able to do that Running as well home, yeah. if that is what you want then find someone because trust me i have met women who would say mm -hmm. My aim in life is once I'm done with my NYSC, I want to get married and take care of my home. And of it course. is absolutely valid. So just find yeah. someone who aligns with what you want and what you think works for you and yeah. your mental space. I think it's also be good, based on what you've just said, to also have that conversation about marriage. So there's a lot of men that don't mind you working. But when it comes to now having kids in the mix, some people have stronger values on that. So it's good to talk about that before you get there. And it's okay to also change your mind. Like right now, I don't think I'll ever be a housewife, but I don't know the type of kids I will get, what their needs will be if I'm gonna have kids. So when that time comes, you should also be able to put that into consideration for your for you and your spouse to have that type of conversation for change. That, okay, I might actually wanna stay at home and homeschool, for example, mm -hmm. or whatever. Or I actually don't mind first year after a baby, going back to work. So just have somebody that you can talk to, someone that's not very difficult because all I just vibe is a lot of men here can be super difficult and impose their beliefs or their cultures or what makes them feel better because mm -hmm. it isn't really always about them caring for the wife that they don't want them to work. It just looks good on the man to say that, my wife doesn't work, I take care of her. <laughs> so please, just, you know, have that dialogue. It's important. Mm, and even when it comes to... Um, taking care of the children or taking care of the baby. Sometimes their, their opinions or resolve doesn't come from finding the best thing that works, works for those with, yeah. two. It's just from a, a place of years of orientation. So yeah. you you leave the wrong people who told you that if this happens to the child, it's not, there is no f um, um, scientific backing, yeah, yeah. nothing. You just believe that because they said this, my wife must carry my child like this for my and child to must, be mm. reasonable in life, mm. you know? And I think we should be able to learn and unlearn, like yeah. be able to say, okay, you know what, this doesn't work and also allow people to challenge your beliefs. But please don't start challenging inside the marriage. Chat, yeah. chat it before the marriage yeah. and create room for, like you said, being able to modify your yeah. stance yeah. before you get into the marriage. This is my personal opinion, basically. Of course. Mm.